All right, Hunter. So we've talked about a lot of the really good stuff, right? With, with athletics, traveling, and all that. Yes. What about some of the dark side? So I know in, in pro sports, there's a doping problem, not specific to any sport. It can happen in anyone. What's your experience with getting tested, seeing it if you've seen it, the ethics related to cheating and so forth? Yeah, you know, for me, um, I grew up as a person that, that was never on my radar screen, right? I never wanted to cheat to be the best, right? I never thought that was even, never crossed my mind. But I know in cycling, it, it was always kind of prevalent. It was always kind of out there, right? Uh, people would talk about Lance Armstrong and, 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 the, and the people in the cycling world. And it was, uh, it was just kind of an underlying current that that just kind of what... It's what you had to do in order to get to where you needed to be, right? And I think sometimes when you think about doping, you just gotta look at people and if they're achieving things like the Tour de France, climbing mountains over 21 days and doing things that seem like they're too difficult to do, maybe it is sometimes in a, in a lot of ways. And so for me, I got, um, I, I got tested all the time. Uh, USADA, US Anti-Doping Agency, is the one that does the test as long with WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. And uh, it's, it's a really big deal. You have to basically tell them where you're gonna be at least one hour during the day, every day, 365 days a year. You have to let them know for one hour where you'll be during that one hour. So they can randomly get- They get can randomly knock on the door and come to your door and test you. And so for me, my hour is always in the morning, right? I always wanted to say, I'll be here between five and six in the morning because I'll be heading out the door about 6.30 mm -hmm. uh, to head to some practice or 6.15. So between five and six, I might be sleeping still potentially, but at least I'll be there and I know I'll be at my house or my hotel or wherever it is. So I would get some early morning knocks in the door uh, letting them know. And sometimes they, would, they wouldn't they would always do it during the hour. They would do it totally random and just try to find you. And if they didn't find you, it was okay. But if you if you, you had to say where you're going to be, if you don't actually, if you say you're going to be there and they come to your house and you're not there, then it's like a missed test if they do it three times. So they come to your house three different times and you're supposed to be there and you're not, then it counts them because you're basically, you're, you're, you're trying to elude the test and say- Three times in a lifetime or in a certain- Three times in a 12 month period. Okay. Exactly right. Yep. Three, three times in a 12 month period. And so for me, um, I, I got tested so much one year, I was, I was the most tested person across all uh, US Olympic sports. It was, mm -hmm. it was, cause you get tested out of competition. U uh, urine or blood tests? Uh, both. Okay. Blood started coming on later in my, the last half of my career, but urine was early on. And um, I, I got tested so much that uh, my four year old son, who was then four said, when the guy would knock on the door, he'd be like, daddy, your friend's here. I mean, that's how often he yeah. knew this guy. And I so, I don't not, like needles. That would freak me out. The blood test. It, it is. It, yeah. it is a little. It's a little nerve wracking. But they yeah. come with a blood specialist. So uh, someone that's that's uh, specializes in that will do it, and it's it's not a big deal. It's about a vial that's about that big. It's not much blood. Not enough to actually hurt your workout. But once they come in contact with you, that 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 doping officer can't leave your site. So say you had just gone to the bathroom and you're and and gone gone to the bathroom, and so. And, and you were dehydrated and you just got done with the workout, they're gonna have to, they can follow you around. Say you had to go to this a massage appointment or had to go to a doctor's office. They have to follow you around. They can't, you can't leave their site once they come in contact with you. And for, it could be for what, for, for one hour? No, it could be for like six hours or eight hours, or it could be for half a day, as long as it takes you to actually provide another urine sample. And it has to be enough of a urine sample to provide a, a, a decent amount in order to pass. Wait, um, wait, wait. So why can't they just get it when they see you? And then they can, done. but if you can't go, if the person actually oh, can't provide the I sample because they've just gone to the bathroom. Say I've just woke up in the morning I, I, for my sleep, gone to the bathroom, I come back and now all of a sudden they knock on my door and I'm like, oh, it's like I could have gone this sample five minutes ago. I would have had it for you right here, you know, but now it's going to take like, could take two hours. I don't know. I'm, so I'm trying to hydrate or whatever it is. Yeah. So it's, it's a crazy thing. It's a crazy, uh, but it has to be done. And, and, and it's, they say it's random, but it's really only, I think it's random, but it's random within the, the top athletes, right? I mean, so we're all in a pool, but only the best probably get tested the most, right? If you're providing great results and then you get in competition testing too. So if you're in the top three, if that, if that competition is testing, the top three will get tested as well as someone in the top 10 might get plucked out. Like a seventh place person might get tested as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it's very high protocol. Uh, you have to have all your supplements that you're going to list out of what you're taking. Like I'll, I was heavy in the beets. So I was taking beet supplements, um, a product called beet elite. So I put that down. I put maybe if it was a over the counter medication, but you don't want to take many medications that you don't know what it is that you're getting or else you could easily get randomly pop or something that it's, and it's the out that a lot of athletes use, right? They're like, Oh, I was taking this, you know, this vitamin, 
but it was in the same the, the same warehousing and, and manufacturing the same area that was with some you know some other kind of thing that got was illegal apparently 